In this video, we will take a look at the final MIDI plugin of Logic Pro, the Velocity Processor. Just by looking at it, you would think that it is some kind of a compressor, and that is what it actually does. It is processing the incoming MIDI velocity, and it does velocity compression and expansion. It has three modes, and all of three of them have different parameters. So let's start with the first one, compression and expansion. The one universal control in all three modes are the process buttons here, note on and note off. This will allow you to process the MIDI note on and off velocity, and you can either have one activated, both, or you can have neither, in which case the plugin is obviously not going to process anything. So let's skip the display for now and go down to the parameters here. If you are familiar with how a compressor works, then these settings should look familiar. The threshold will set the velocity value, so all incoming notes that have a velocity higher of what we set here will be processed. When you open the velocity processor, it is always at 62. So that means that every note that has a velocity of 62 and above will be processed. Anything below that will be unaffected. Next to that, we have the ratio knob. That will determine the slope of whatever we are doing, either compression or expansion. And as you can see, it is using a slope that comes close to a soft knee. So ratios lower than 1 will actually do expansion, and ratios higher than 1 will do compression. And we will look at it in a bit. Next to that, we have the makeup gain. As with the compressor, we can use this knob to compensate for either the higher or lower velocity. So we can either add or subtract from the new velocity values. And it has two modes. You can either set manually, or you can leave it on auto. Now when you leave it on auto, it will automatically set the maximum velocity reference level. For this one, for this region we have, it is 52. Let's go back. Now let's look and listen at an example. I have the example from the previous videos, which I have deliberately changed certain velocities. So let's have a listen. As you can hear and see on the piano roll and on the automation, the velocity is all over the place. Some notes are too loud and some are barely audible. So let's work on that. Same principles as with the compressor. We want to bring everything closer. So let's start with the threshold. Uh, we set the threshold depending on the notes we want to affect. So if I only want to affect the loud notes, for example, then I would look at the velocity of them. Let's actually do that right now. Let's use the last bar, 19, because it has these loud notes here. Let's turn it off first. And these are, so this one is at 110, and this has a velocity of 108. So let's set the threshold at 100. Now, only the notes above 100 will be affected. As for the ratio, if I take it lower than 1, then that will result in expansion. So these notes will actually be even louder. So here's without, and let's do expansion first. Here's without. And here's with expansion. See, they are even louder. So let's start taking it up to do compression. So that's MIDI, so we can go higher, quite high. You see, everything is much closer together now. Maybe we can push it a bit more. And that is how you would go about if you want to affect just the louder notes. But this passage has softer notes as well, so we need to take the threshold down. So let's, let's use this example because it has this barely audible chord here. And 26, 26 is the lowest, so let's go to below that. So let's do 24. And as you can see, it evens out the slope. Now, if we have it as a ratio of one and zero makeup gain, it will play back exactly the same. So not much difference there. We need to bring up the ratio a bit, which will make everything sound softer. Higher. Maybe a bit more. Yep, 
Now, as you can hear, everything is audible and closer together, but the whole passage is very quiet. So now is where we use the makeup gain to bring it up a bit. And that's an example of how you can go with compression and expansion. Now let's change to the other mode, value and range. Range. And this mode is essentially what a limiter is on an audio track. So we have two modes here as well, which we can change by using this switch here. On value, whatever value I set on the value slider, that will be the velocity of every incoming MIDI note. So if I set it to, I don't know, let's do 70, then all of my notes will have a velocity of 70, all of them. That could be very helpful if you are playing your percussion and drums instead of programming them, and you want certain things like the snare and drum kick to always be the same velocity, especially for electronic drums. Now when I switch to range, I can set the range of the notes that will be processed exactly like the value mode, but I can choose which velocities will be affected. For example, if I set it to 100, and let's do 30, for example, that means that all the notes that have a velocity above 100, they will be brought down to 30, all of them, and then all the notes that have a velocity lower than 30, they will be brought up to 100. So anything between 30 and 100, it will not be processed, and it will be played back as it was recorded or programmed. I know it's a bit confusing when you first look at it. So in the example we have right now, all the loud notes will be soft and all the soft notes will be loud. So let's look at this bar we have right here. So let's listen to the notes as I click on them. The soft blue notes will be loud. And the loud orange notes will be soft. And if we play it back, it will sound the reverse of what we actually see here. The loud note is this blue here. Now let's have a look at the last mode, the add scale. Here we can add or reduce the value of the velocity. And we can either do that by percentage, or we can simply add or subtract from it. On the scale slide, if it is at 100, then it will play back exactly as it is programmed or played back. And if I want to make the whole passage quieter by 10%, for example, I simply have to take that down to 90%. And that will take 10% off of each note. Or we can do it by the add slider. Since it's MIDI, it will have 127 values. So from 0 to 126 or minus 126. And essentially, we add or subtract values to all of the region. So if I take this one up to, or type it, 15, then all of the notes on my region will have a velocity of 15 added on top of the original velocity. And lastly, as I'm sure you already know by now, we also get this hidden menu. Now this allows us to set the input range. As before, we can set uh, which notes will be affected by the plugin. So notes outside that range will not be affected. Again, if you cross over the minimum and maximum sliders, then the range that is within them will not be processed. Only the notes outside that range will be processed.